Camden County police have become the latest department to use the Vertra 300 simulator to train officers on the use of force and de-escalation. Officer Levi Still arrives at the scene of a simulated active shooter. The big goal, preserving life by eliminating the threat. In this case, two shooters wearing bulletproof vests. He did his job. And that the, this training is not to say, Oh, he, he got an A on it or a D. It's to instill the mindset. The simulator has five surrounding screens to imitate the many simultaneous events at one scene, scenes that can run the gamut of police response. This one is an emotionally disturbed person at work, a woman distraught over a breakup and threatening to harm herself with scissors. The responder, Tawana Jones of Camden Sophisticated Sisters. She stepped in to get a taste of police work. Angela. Why don't you come over here and talk to me for a little bit? Just put the scissors down so we can talk. Fine. It was intense. Um, I just didn't want things to go bad, you know, quickly. You know, I just wanted her to basically focus on me. I gave the simulator a try. An upset and fired worker with a gun pointed to his head and walking back to his office. Aaron, don't touch that door. Don't touch the door, Aaron. Don't go in there. Were you 100% sure that nobody was in there for you? No. So I couldn't get that close. So why'd you let them get that close? You do know that rounds have, they can go through people sometimes. One former officer turned police trainer says simulators can achieve a high level of physical realism. Training must replicate reality, and historical shortcoming of police training is its tendency to emphasize catastrophic outcomes and failures. This approach has predominated in policing and is just starting to be rectified. Camden County Police are inviting community members and mandating all 400 officers on the force get training in the de-escalation shoot, don't shoot simulator. They want a brief understanding that just because officers carry deadly force on their hips, it's not always the best option. There are plenty of other tools and tactics for the situations they encounter. In Camden, Michael Hill, NJTV News.